Over $60 million raised with extremely high odds of an airdrop, let me introduce you to Zora, the ultimate NFT blockchain. This will also be a three-in-one airdrop, so buckle up and get ready for the three airdrops that could make us hundreds to even thousands of dollars. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team, and remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose, and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Okay, let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so first up we're on the official Zora website which is Zora.co and this is basically their open swap page where you can buy and sell and mint NFTs for example. So first things first, you're going to connect your wallet which is going to be Metamask, just click connect go through. In the past, I've already used Zora before. So for those who are new, you're going to have to add the network and you can do so in a couple of ways. First way is to go to Chainlist and you can literally search your networks up the top, for example, Zora or whatever it might be. If you, you can find Ethereum, BNB chain, Arbitrum 1, Polygon and so on. However, the other way I like to do it is just by simply using the network and it will just automatically add the network for you. So we've connected our wallet. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom of the website, we're going to head over to the network page. And this is basically just the bridge for Zora. It's basically the block explorer as well. So it tells you everything you need to know about the blockchain. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our wallet and you're going to need to bridge over some tokens. You've got two options here. If you want to use the Ethereum mainnet, then you can use this bridge. However, it's going to cost you more money as the Ethereum mainnet is more expensive with gas fees. So I'm going to give you another alternative. However, I would definitely recommend using this bridge if you are looking for the highest odds of getting the airdrop or maybe even more tokens. So you would, all you'd have to do is choose the amount of ETH that you'd want to bridge. So if it was 0.42, for example, you just click bridge and then it would take one minute to get onto the the other side in your Zora network. You can also withdraw from the Zora network as well. So it's very simple. And this is another way of adding the network to your wallet if you haven't got Zora. So you would click switch network and it would automatically add all the network details for you. But because I've already got the network added, I'm just going to click switch network. And as you can see, I've got $2.41 worth of ETH on the Zora network. So I'm going to get some more. And by doing so, I'm not going to be using the official Zora bridge, not in this video anyway, but I've shown you how to do it. If you have any questions, then I will guide you again. However, it should be very straightforward. Now, the way I like to do it and getting, I say, two in one airdrop, by the way, there's going to be a three in one airdrop in total. However, the second airdrop for this video will be one of my most favorite protocols, Orbiter Finance. And Orbiter Finance is a third party bridge which allows you to transfer assets between pretty much any Ethereum compatible network, which is absolutely amazing and it's so fast. So connect your wallet, choose MetaMask, connect. I don't want to switch to the Ethereum mainnet, so I'm just going to click cancel. And I'm just going to choose the network. I know I've got Ethereum in Arbitrum. So I'm going to be transferring Ethereum from the Arbitrum network over to the Zora network, which is down here, as you can see. And I'm going to do 0.012 and click send. So switch network, confirm and send. Four cents gas fee. Absolutely incredible. I love Arbitrum. I love Orbiter Finance. Let's see if I'll love Zora as much as I love these networks. So we just wait for it to end up on the other side. Orbiter Finance is doing their own airdrop, guys, and I think it's going to be massive. I'd highly recommend using it. And we also have a full tutorial if you're interested. So I will leave that linked in the description below. Okay, guys, as you can see, that took no time at all. Very, very quick. I absolutely love Orbiter Finance, like I said multiple times. And if we open up our MetaMask, switch over to the Zora network, as we can see, we've now got $21.74 worth of ETH. So we can get rid of Orbiter Finance, unless you want to bridge back, then you would just do the complete opposite. However, moving over, get rid of the Zora Energy, which is the bridge, and get rid of the chain list. So we're now going to go onto the official Zora website, like we did at the beginning, and we're going to get ourselves some NFTs. So as you can see down here, we can discover a whole wide variety of different digital art collections but i'm interested in these next wave ones at the moment so i'm going to click this wave one this zorb 330 have been minted let's see how much it is click mint it's free all we have to do is mint with gas fees so it's absolutely incredible very cheap and what we want to do is all in all i reckon if we get around 10 nfts on this network i think we'll be very safe for the airdrop at a minimum guys i think maybe 15 20 should make us safe however if we're hitting into 50 then, I, then who knows maybe the more you do the more tokens you'll get but that's to find out if you go back to dashboard this is our dashboard where it shows us our rewards so we have zero rewards in zora pgn optimism ethereum and base we haven't got any collections of our own however what i want you to do guys is before we go back and buy some more nfts i want you to create your own nft as i think it is vital to getting the zora airdrop now if you go up the top right and click the plus button and click addition you can choose multi-addition or drop 
or DAO, but we're going to go with the standard edition. Going to choose, you're going to choose your NFT name and look, the symbol is THC. That's great. So THC, upload media can be anything. I use this image to create an NFT on the Zeta chain airdrop, which I'll leave that link in the description below, which I also recommend. You can set a price. So for price, I'm going to put 0.0001 royalty 5%. Mint start, edition open now, mint duration forever, mint limit per address unlimited, network on Zora, and click create. So it costs $2 worth of fees to create your NFT collection, and that is officially created. You've got one NFT edition, which has been deployed on Zora. Now, as you can see here, you can personalize your mint page. You don't have to do this, but it could be fun. And literally you just click mint here to mint it, just like so, that's how you would mint it. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mint it anyway, cause it's my NFT. So I'm gonna mint my own NFT, which is cool. Never done that before. This one looks really cool, so I'm gonna mint this. Wicked. Let's just get some more next wave ones from the homepage, just like so. So it's gonna be pretty expensive, guys. You're probably gonna need around $20, $30 in order to get at least 10 NFTs and to mint your own one. So I would recommend getting at least $30, $40 and have some ETH left over just so you can mint some more NFTs if necessary. I'm gonna mint this one, this is pretty cool. Mint that again, superb. We can mint this video as well. See how much this costs, free. Just got to pay the gas fees, which is great. Superb. Let's see how much ETH we got left. Wow, so we're really burning through it, guys. But we're going to get an airdrop, most likely. So it's probably going to be worth it. So carrying on. We can see that we've got rewards because we bought our own NFT, which is cool. If we go back to the dashboard, we can see our ETH on Zora to claim. And next up, guys, we have Mint.Fun, which is going to be our third 3-in-1 airdrop for this video. We're going to be covering it better in the future. However, we're going to briefly go through it to help us with the Zora airdrop. Now, connect your wallet, choose MetaMask, confirm. As you can see, it's compatible with the Zora, Base, Optimism, and Ethereum networks. So we're going to get this Mint Fun Drop. And this Mint Fun Drop is our pass that we want to get. Welcome to Season 2 of Fun Drop, the on-chain rewards program for mint.fun begin by minting a don for a fun drop pass to see how many points you've already earned from minting nfts so we'll get points automatically and we'll also get points for the future so we're going to switch to ethereum click mint.fun for some reason 55 dollars that does not sound right so i need more eth in my wallet to be able to mint the fun drop pass and i'm not going to put more eth in there right now however i will do this later but what you're going to do is guys you're going to go over to where it says minting now and all you would do is just click mint now you can either mint 10 for 0.0004 for to ETH. So that is literally one transaction for that much. And that'll basically make you eligible for the Zora airdrop in an instant. You can mint two of them and then doing another NFT is completely up to you. You can mint this one now if you want. So for example, I'm gonna mint one. Or if I go back and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three NFTs for 0.002. So that's $4 and I'm just gonna mint that. So I've got three of these NFTs, transaction pending and your mint of Leinster has been successful. You can do this as well. So you can mint six for 0 0.00390, switch over to Optimism and do that, but we don't want to do the Optimism network. So you can leave that and do this one, mint for free, which is also on the Optimism network. And if you just keep scrolling down, you'll find so many different NFTs that you can mint. It's completely up to you. You can check out your offers on this page. So I've been offered some ETH for my t NFTs that I've got my Cashmere Labs one and my Igen Layer one, which I'm not going to get rid of them. Don't forget to mint the fun drop if you want, but it's not essential. However, come back onto the Zora NFT marketplace and just buy as many things as you possibly can. It can be whatever you like. It doesn't have to be an NFT image. It can be a video, music, whatever you like. So if I go and buy this, for example, little video, you can collect it for 0.001 Ethereum. I'm not going to do that, but if you go down, you can just buy another one. Just say this. Looks pretty cool. Pretty sure it's free as well. Just have to pay for gas fees. So change network back to Zora, mint it, and voila. That's the last NFT I'm going to do for this video, guys. However, bang. Now we've done that, you're pretty much done for the video guys. So if you want any other crypto airdrops, you can head over to our YouTube channel just like so. Head over to playlists, check the crypto airdrop guides and you'll be able to check out 37 videos and more. We're continuously updating this playlist so I highly recommend keeping your eye on it and turning on those notification bells. But guys, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and we currently have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning, Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.